Hey everybody, it's Javad. I'm here with my um, Smith & Larson Woofer Tester 2 and I've been hearing a lot of banter on the group about inductors and the effects of magnetic fields from say a speaker magnet. So here I have a 1.0 inductor, a millihenry inductor connected as you can see 1.00 very well rated inductor from Parts Express. Got this uh, subwoofer here with a reasonably sized magnet. And here we have our tester and the inductor that's currently connected. So again, uh, whoop, test lead popped off, 1.0. All right, so here I'm, I'm moving it close to the magnet. And here I have centered it right on the back of the magnet. This is uh, theoretically the worst case scenario, directly in line with the magnet's field. You can see inductance has dropped down to about 0.89. Uh, enough to make an audible difference, I don't know, but uh, that's a 10% tolerance. Most inductors are 5%, so Again, this is a worst case scenario. I don't think you'd ever mount an inductor like this. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll rotate it 90 degrees. And we can see the effect is minimized. We're at 0.99 to one millihenries. So again, we're literally sitting on the magnet, but we're now perpendicular to the magnetic field. Virtually, virtually no change. And then I will hold the inductor here to the side, 1.0, virtually no change. I'll rotate it 90 degrees. Mm, 0.99, 1.0, virtually no change. And finally I'll rotate it like this. Absolutely no change from being separated and we are literally touching the magnet, but we are now completely in an opposite plane of magnetic fields. All right, so now I have here an iron core inductor. A lot of people believe that these react more to magnetic fields than air core. So I'm hooking that up now. Okay, well away from the magnets, we are reading 3.1. That's a 3.1. All right. Now I can actually feel the, mag the magnetic field pulling down on the iron core. Looks like inductance has dropped to 2.9, so about 2 tenths. Still not the end of the world. Again, worst case scenario, I can't imagine anyone ever doing this. Let's turn it up on end, 90 degrees. 2.85, so we're a little over two tenths. Again, a worst case scenario. And uh, just stuck up to the side like that, I'm gonna need to hold it. 2.99, it's about 0.1, I mean this is, not gonna screw up anyone's crossover. And if we just move it a little ways away, which is very reasonable for most installations, we're back to 3.1. So anyways, take it for what it's worth. Seems like people are blowing it out of proportion more than is necessary.